I was just thinking the other day before sitting down to breakfast to what to show for you guys from here what to uh, draw and then it dawned on me breakfast I was about to sit down to breakfast and I thought breakfast in Turkey is something very special that you don't get uh, you don't get everywhere else and I don't know where you guys are watching from I know there are a lot of you from the United States and the breakfast you have there is very very different than what we have here and I thought uh, it is kind of given for me and I don't think a lot about it but I thought I'm gonna show you guys how we have breakfast in Turkey and this is definitely a reason to come here and uh, visit Turkey because there are lots of fresh produce and lots of different types of cheeses and different types of sausages cooked eggs and pastries and the bread itself is so nice and white and fluffy and uh, also there are different types of bread as well like from a more uh, whole grain village bread to uh, what you would get from a local bakery uh, this classic Turkish bread uh, so that's what I am gonna show you guys the Turkish breakfast and nothing fancy what we have at home and my plate but if I happen to go some other place, I will also make a video and maybe I will share it, share it on Instagram. So that's what I'm going to do. here we are the setup is ready I have already five pages I think this is the first page dedicated to fig and windsurfing this one I didn't record it my parents found a bird outside for my nephew uh, like they found it and my nephew wanted so they kept it so we have a bird now and now this page is going to be for breakfast um, yes, so I'm starting the drawing because this is continuous drawing. Uh, you might want to think where you're gonna start from. Since the bread is sticking out of the plate when you look at it from this angle, I decide to start from there so that after that I can just continue with the rest of the plate. You can see I'm going to the side from there and the tomato is also, um, I think, sticking out a bit. Next to the bread there is tomato and then cucumber and then the, the fork is also part of the picture here. I used to hate drawing forks. This is a, a real thing because this shape, the curve of the fork was very difficult to do it for me. But then when I kind of let go of that perfectionism and just started doing very roughly i started loving how the forks look like so now even if there is no fork in the picture i just bring it in and take a photo with it um so this is also something for you to remember that you have to let go of being a perfectionist that it doesn't have to be perfect it has to be something different something unique and that's the where the value comes from now i'm drawing the x again just very roughly I'm doing the shape going back and forth to give the texture a bit because it's not a flat thing over there there, there are two pieces of meat um, since we are talking breakfast I can tell you a bit about it the one on the top is pastrami uh, one of my favorites and usually one of the most expensive sliced meats you can buy in here and underneath is I guess kind of a ham that is it, it's called salam in here like salami but it's not salami and I now you can see I'm drawing the fork because I went down to the um, meats and from there I started drawing the plate I went up I drew the fork now I continue my way up I came to the bread I don't go through the bread but you can that's also fine 
I go around it. I like adding these extra lines on the top of the uh, existing ones. And here, this this is the reason why this drawing is taking a bit longer than usual because I want to give this feeling of the plate. So I'm doing these are those embellishments like the design of the plate uh, on the edges. Uh, it has some designs. I decide to keep that and I'm doing this one way and then there is a second line I'm adding that as well sometimes these kind of things I don't know if I find it important for the feeling I'm trying to capture for this moment I just go for it I don't think oh I have to finish this under 10 minutes it is an option it's up to you and so now basically I'm mostly done with the uh, plate of course I'm gonna draw the tea cup there there's Turkish tea like I mentioned before it's Ceylon after writing this I asked my mom what tea is this because Ceylon in here goes as smuggled tea that is because it comes from outside Turkey and it used to be illegal that's why it's still called smuggled tea but it's not smuggled anymore and there's also tea that is grown in Turkey in the northern regions and apparently it's a mixture of both this tea we were having and it has a distinctive uh, red color uh, when it's brewed and I'm drawing a few items that was on the table beyond my plate uh, and I will leave it there now as usual I'm gonna add the date and the place place part hasn't been very interesting for this sketch journal uh, nor for sketch journal so far it's always at home but uh, second week we will be going around more often and maybe I will have some drawings on uh, locations as well. So let's see. Um, so I'm writing there uh, home, Hisarönü. This is the name of the village, Hisarönü. It means in front of the castle because there used to be an ancient castle and if I'm not wrong, pirates were using this area uh, because there is a, a nice bay uh, with a, a hill with a castle on top of it so they were able to uh, keep the area safe from uh, other people who are trying to steal their stuff but they also stole the, their stuff in the first place anyway um, so now I'm adding a title I just wanted to add a simple breakfast I'm doing a um, easy bubbly font that looks like uh, those blown up uh, bubbles, you know, those long ones you give shape. I, it, these kind of uh, lettering always reminds me of those uh, um, animal shaped balloons. So I'm writing there breakfast and after that I will move on to painting. Like I said, this one took a bit longer than usual, but it, it was, I had time and it is up to me. It is also up to you how much details you want to put and uh, how much uh, you want to leave out. You, I didn't have to draw the uh, teacup there or uh, anything other than the tape, uh, plate, but I did. So I'm adding my usual triangle behind the title and I will move on to the painting with the painting because I am showing you guys uh, this um, I'm adding a bit more texture to the meat there um, with the painting I also um, want to be a bit keep it close to the reality because I want to show the colors uh, real colors of the things on the plate I don't want this to be too abstract but still uh, it will be loose and I will let the colors go into each other as much as I can opening my tiny jar this tiny jar has been very useful by the way it's been since I found it uh, it's been in my backpack ever since and I change the water every now and then, not even every painting, and it's doing a great job. But of course, when I'm at home, I have two jars, one for clean, one for uh, dirty, uh, and that, that way it uh, lasts uh, longer. 
So I started with the plate because that kind of sets the tone for the rest of the paintings, the rest of the items on the page. Um, I mix some uh, blue and uh, green and uh, I think black to uh, get as close as possible to the color of the plate. It had a beautiful color, this plate. Mine is, uh, I think, mine looks a bit more green than blue. Um, I immediately started painting the uh, bread over there. As you can see, it's uh, actually bleeding into the uh, plate, uh, the colors of the plate and the bread. The tea color, uh, it turned out too pink, the first one I added. So I added more orange to uh, make it look more red. And then I removed the excess and I added even a bit brown because this tea has a very dark uh, reddish color and I didn't want it to look pinkish. Um, what will I do now? On the side I'm mixing some colors to get this uh, reddish effect because this is a small set and I don't have uh, exact red and when I do as you can see I'm trying on the side and I use that red for the tomato. Washing my brush again. And now with some green, I'm doing the cucumber, but I picked up some red from the tomato and I had to put a stop to that because like I said, I try to, I for this painting at least, I want to keep a bit realistic while uh, letting colors go into each other. I don't want a red cucumber, <laughs> I, if you know what I mean. And now what's next? I'm doing the um, meat on the plate, this uh, piece of ham and pastrami. I started with the ham that it looks more definitely pink, pinkish. And this bread, Turkish bread, uh, the one on my plate, it has a very crunchy edge because before putting into the oven, they cut it with a um, razor and uh, this creates a very crunchy edge, uh, which uh, I love eating. So, and that part always kind of burns and it looks very dark brown. So I added that on the bread. Then I moved on to pastrami with brownish reddish color I'm trying to give there. In the middle, it's difficult to see in here, but in the middle there are olives. And for the olives, again, I'm doing it a bit more carefully and trying to leave a bit of a shine because they always look very shiny. So there is a white shiny spot on them, even though they are black or dark brown. And I try to keep that shine on them. And then, again, I went back to red. Uh, the, the only thing left, I think, is the uh, eggs. But I'm mixing some red on the side. Ah, I'm adding a second layer to the, because first one turned out too pinkish and I let it dry and I'm adding a second uh, layer to give the depth to the tea. Again, I guess you could consider this more traditional sketch journaling this kind of painting because it is more realistic that not one dimensional just few splashes of water but more uh, realistic looking but still loose enough to go into the no effort sketch journaling that I don't see anything wrong uh, mixing the two every now and then now I added also some uh, yellow to the egg and left it there as you can see there are also some white parts to it's it, then it gives the feeling of a texture and the, the that they could be highlights so i'm adding some color to the um, title while the yellow for the triangle is still wet i'm adding some blue and i will add green i want it to be colorful because breakfast is really at least for us and as, as far as I know for other families as well is 
uh, especially on holiday, time to get together. The Sunday breakfasts are big in Turkey, for example, for families to get together and friends. So I kept it yellow and blue and green, very cheerful title, breakfast. Now I'm picking some yellow to splash around. As I always say, always splash, 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 splash. And I picked some red to splash around the tea and I did a yellow splash around the egg. So I'm using the colors from the page. And here is a closer look. What do you think? I'm very happy with this one. That it is loose enough, it is worthy of no effort style, but a little more realistic attach than usual. That that was the reference photo. So as usual, if you want to start your own, you can follow the link at the end or in the description. I hope you enjoyed this one and I will see you on the next one. I hope if I can keep this up. Bye. Bye.